statue called the Embrace that they have in Boston that they recently unveiled is the highest symbol of virtue signaling and astral turf wokeism that does nothing for the black community. Welcome back to the Biblical Conservative Channel. We'll come against the anti-God, anti-human, anti-biblical, anti-American, anti-Christian spirit that's looking to prevail in this land. So today is Dr. King Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And everybody out in America is doing acts of service and doing other things that they normally wouldn't do, but because it's a Dr. King Day and they have the day off, they wanna go out and do things, which is great. That's great. These are things that we should be doing on a consistent basis because there are people in need in our communities that really look for these opportunities and look for these days when people come out to help them. But it's more than just going out and, and picking up trash and doing other things. That's great. But how about actually giving people things to help them grow as human beings? giving them things to help them come out of the situation that they are in. That's what Dr. King was about. Yes, he was about service. Yes, he was about justice, but also he was about empowering the poor people to get up out of their situation and speak truth to power. So the latest in the liberal, woke, progressive, surface level, virtue signaling, no true meaning action is this embrace statue in Boston. Now this monument or statue was supposed to be a reflection of the moment when Dr. King and Coretta Scott King hugged each other back in the day. But as you can see in this statue, first of all, the heads are removed. So anyone walking up to the statue have no idea what it represents. And then secondly, some people seem to point out that it appears to be a blanche kind of deal, you know, one of those anthropomorphic kind of deals, if you know what I mean, based upon certain angles, if you look at it from a certain angle. Why would somebody spend $10 million on something like this? You know, that $10 million could have been used to fund programs, to help nonprofits, to elevate the black community. This does nothing for the black community. It's another way that people show their wokeism show their allyship to the black community but it doesn't produce results and when are we as black people going to be tired of being pandered to this is just another pandering that people are doing virtual signaling that they are doing to show that they are with the black community but these efforts do nothing to elevate the black community all these things that these woke progressive liberals do has no lasting benefit in the black community. It does not establish any type of legacy. It does not empower the people in the community. All it does is reinforce victimization. It does. It does nothing but help the person that designed it and help his liberal backers feel good about themselves. But it does. that $10 million could be spent in a myriad of ways to help the community. It could have been spent for, for education. It could have been spent for job program. It could have been spent for people want to talk about reparation and stuff it could have been spent for sanctuary tax sanctuaries to help people in the community build businesses tax-free it could have been helped for all of those things but it's not because they don't want to do that see here's the dirty little secret i want to tell 
my black brothers and sisters. And I hate talking about race a lot, but I have to because in this world, they're using race. The Marxists are using race to divide us, to separate us because they want to keep perpetuating this cultural Marxism about oppressors and oppressed, intersectionality, all that stuff. But that is only meant to divide us and separate us and build up anger and resentment. Here's a dirty little secret about reparations. They don't want to give you reparations. And if they do give it to you, most people will squander it because they haven't been taught how to manage money. They haven't been taught the American way of true capitalism. They have not been. And so they will spend it on materialism. They will consume it on themselves. It's a difference between being a consumer and a producer. Too many of us are consumers and not producers. But this is just another way for them to show that they are trying to help the black community, but they know deep down inside, it will not. All it is is just a virtue signal to get you emotionally connected to say that I'm doing something for you, but when in actuality, they're not. They have no intention of providing any type of opportunity for you to better yourself. And that is what is frustrating. So this embrace statue in Boston is just another way that the woke progressive left are showing a virtue signal to the black community. It does nothing to benefit the black community in the end. It will continue to perpetuate victimization. We are not victims. We are empowered for greatness.